Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and in this video I'm going to do an integration of the Google Chart API into FileMaker, and it's only going to take a few minutes. So if you do a search for Google Chart API, you'll get to this page, uh, Google Chart Developer, and you can see a bunch of different uh, examples of what they have. So you can see kind of a gallery of the charts they have, the customizability. If you go to Guides, it gives you um, the code to actually integrate these in. And there's a bunch of different ones, combination charts, pi, line, etc., uh, tons. Okay, a really good place to start, I think, is the one called Gauge. So if I go to Gauge, I'll click on that, and I'll grab this code. This is the entire code, and I'll copy that to the clipboard. If I then hide that, and I just go to FileMaker, and I make a web viewer, put that on my layout, go into the web viewer and replace it with that code unchanged. Uh, I will have to put it in quotes. What do you think will happen? Answer, it'll break because the code actually is embedded with uh, quotes and you can't put the whole entire thing in a quote. You could put this into a field and that would work. But I think a better way to do it is this. It turns out that if you just replace all of your quotes with single quotes, FileMaker will handle it. So I just brought it up into a text editor, uh, and I did that replace command, and that's this version right here. So I'll take this from the clipboard, stick that into FileMaker, put that in, um, put that whole string into quotes, and now I can actually see that. So I'll go to browse mode, and I see that little chart, just like that into FileMaker. Now, a couple of important steps. One, this will not work to show FileMaker data because it's not wrapped in a data um, URL. So there's another little header that you have to have, which is this little block of text right here. Data colon text slash HTML char set blah. Okay, I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard. And you can easily find that by Googling it or just pause the video and look at that screen. And I'm gonna put that at the, at the head here. So data text HTML uh, char set equals UTF-8. That's it for the header. Um, there's also a couple of sections here that I don't really want. So this section down here adds like a little wiggle to the chart. It adds a little randomizer, which I don't really want. And I also, I'm only gonna wrap one thing. So I'm gonna take out uh, network and CPU. And I'm not gonna graph memory. I'm gonna graph something different in my database. But just to see what we get, so this will still work but now it just has one little chart meter, and it has a hard-coded number for 80. I want to know the count of invoices in, uh, in the chart, which in this case is two. So that, by the way, the chart is fixed to go from one to 100. So if you're never going to have 100 invoices, or if you're going to have more than 100 invoices, you can put some other little calculations in there for the scale. But for the purpose of, the, of this demo, let's just do um, something simple. OK, now that I've got this working, um, I want to replace this one little bit of the code right here where it's hard coding memory, and I'm going to call that invoices. And rather than having it be 80, I'm going to put um, customer invoice and just the count of the invoice IDs. Now, this won't work yet because there's some other math that I need to put around it. Um, so it, it, yeah, it, what will happen is this, the whole thing is actually all in quotes right here. So what I need to do is have invoices, and that's end the quote. And then just to put this, to make it clear, I'll put it kind of on a line by itself. There's my math of what I want from my database. And then and, and then I have to continue the quote of the other math. So really, we've sort of got this broken down into a header section, um, my FileMaker data, and then all the stuff at the end is sort of the footer section. Um, and um, the header and the footer you don't have to mess with. They can just be there. You can put them in fields, or you, so you can have different chart types, or you can have them embedded in your uh, web viewer, which is what I'm doing. So with that one change, now shows me that in this particular record, I have two invoices. If I switch to another record in my database with more, it gives me 12 invoices. So I can just flip through my records, and it'll just update on the fly. That's all there is to a Google Chart implementation. Everything else that you do, 
you can do by reading up all the little details of the different things you can change. So for example, if you want to put the little wiggle thing for the animation, if you want to do an animation for easing in, if you want to do, uh, you know, green, if you want all the other different chart types, the combination charts, everything else is fairly simple. Um, the tricky part is actually kind of getting data from your database into it. So in this particular one, um, the, the simple example I used was just a straight count of something from the database. If I wanted something more complex, like summarized data, I'd have to figure out a script to do that. But that's definitely all possible to do. Thanks very much for your time looking at this very fun and useful technique with FileMaker.